You made a mess. You made a mess. There's a, there's Ernie. Yo. What's up? You ready to drive to Vegas? Yeah, he destroyed it. I say that we pack a suitcase full of drugs like fear and loathing, and we just go in, dog. Yeah. I've never even done drugs, but <laughs> I feel like what better time to drive to the mountains? Now. I'm vegan. I remember your face. There is no way of explaining the terror I felt. Okay. Be quiet. Be calm. Let's get some peanuts. peanuts. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to do drugs, but I could drive it in one day. I could drive it. You're going to have to drive it in one day. Drive it in one shot. Yeah, we'll get up early and we'll just drive. And if I have to switch off with Brandy driving or I mean, you. I can drive. Yeah. Five, it's 10 hours. Yeah, so it's not that bad. Five, and it's through the really? mountains. Yeah, shit. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so we're driving. That's kind of exciting. Like, at first, when you said it, I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> like, uh, but then, yeah, like, it's through chill. the mountains, it's through Utah. Yeah, it's just had a simple fucking egg in here or, or, or something. What which was the first part of that? <laughs> no, first no, you're going to get the world out of it. I think vegans are ridiculous. I said vegans. <laughs> I'm not talking I'm anymore. Not no, me. I said, the point I'm making is if just a little egg, maybe a little milk. Everything can be so the much psycholo healthier. The psychological, the psychological angle has, has already started. Well, there's just a lot of things you just got to keep replacing. And you're like, and is it better? Is this gluten and soy mm. better? I don't know. I don't think it is. I think an egg might be better than some fucking soy. There, it's a really cold, kind of shitty day right now. There, ooh, I got a hat on top. This is a new thing. I'm going to do this. Uh, there's this really nice, really good Mexican restaurant down the street that we have not been to. It closes at two o'clock because it's a and it has the best me best Mexican food in Colorado, I would say. I can't do They're it. only open until two. I can't do it. They won't have vegan. You're right, they won't. I'm gonna stick this out. I'm you just- You get rice and beans? Yeah, that's what Brandy says. Oh, go to Chipotle and get rice and beans in it. Like, that's what I want, rice, beans, So and what, tomato. I gotta suffer? Cause you mm -hmm. fucking don't wanna eat? No, them. I'll go with you. If you wanna eat there, I will go. I don't know. I don't know. Yesterday he scurried out of here all early because he got hungry. He's like, it's getting late, I gotta go. Well, look, I'm gonna do this vegan thing because I can do it. I just don't think it's the best yeah. choice or- you look at me roll that blunt, did you? It's bacon in there, son. <laughs> what you got? What is that? You destroy this room. When's the bed getting here, dog? I, I got a bed sponsor. And then we order the bed. I got so a if I don't hear from him, he's usually three to four days telling this guy today. Who? I emailed him already. Oh, you I did? messaged him and told him it was delayed. Yeah. Okay. It'll so go out. Like if he's checking his shit no, guess... today, because it'll be here. It's probably already downstairs. Okay. So we can nice. get it out today. Let's fucking let's ready to get dude. flat, son. Yeah, let's do this. Dude, it's amazing that you thought that I called you a douchebag. I keep thinking of this. Yeah, I know. And I was like, whoa. Text, Okay. I never talk like that. I know. I didn't say anything back to it. Yeah. Like, maybe not even think that you would have thought that until I came over here and you're like, you called me a douchebag. And I'm like, no, I didn't call uh, you a douchebag. I thought you did. But it doesn't bother. I have to, I don't care. Well, that's yeah. what else made me think that that's why you do have thick skin. You talk like that and you don't look at it as mean. So, yeah, I don't I'm think not it's mean at all. I don't think it's mean either. All right. Well, now you made it sound like fucking torture you and you're like learning to live with it. No, I'm just not saying, like. That, like but I'm just not offended either. No, but it's like the world is not sugarcoated. <laughs> yeah, it's please. not like a choice either, you know what I mean? Dude, it's like, you, did you review these? You talked about them for a little bit. I didn't right? review. How am I going to review them if I haven't snowboarded them? No, I know, I know, but I mean, we, we should do that in the mountains. <laughs> when well, we want to actually fucking snows, we will. Trails. They're not beginner trails. Yeah. Like, I don't think that's what yeah. I want to learn on. Yeah. Go off the side into some rocks and fuck my board up. And have no energy, and have no energy to get back up because you've been eating fucking quinoa for a No, I'm gonna eat some nuts. Chill. <laughs> Nut gobbler is back in the building, I guess. I think Cliff bars are vegan. I gotta look into it. But nah, you... Cliff, Cliff fucked up. Nothing. You know they're called Cliff bars because a guy named Cliff owns it, right? No. Yeah, I made that part up. The new runs I need. <laughs> the, the best Mexican place in Denver. My oh, man is just hoping and praying that those beans and rice ain't got lard in them. Or else I'm just drinking wine, wine for guacamole lunch. Guacamole and chips lunch for my boy. Yeah. How fast is it? Oh, it's green. Oh. It's green, Aaron. It's green. Oh. oh my god. Oh, you are going the wrong way. You should have slow. You should have got the X. 
I'm trying to get it. Look, this is the X. It's got Ooh. X marks. Mmm, I knew all the swipes. Uh, yes. New iPhone X review is that the iPhone X takes a little bit of time to get used to. I was smashing the invisible home button for a while. Some of the gestures take a little bit to get used to. It's pretty, pretty awesome. We headed the wrong way. Everything, I knew it. Everything is encompassed inside this thing, you know what I mean? It's like, I'll get it's, it. it's all, it's the, it's the predecessor to just swipe in the air and having things appear. You think we could figure out how to somehow yeah. put it on the screen? Like it looks like I'm pressing buttons. Oh yeah. Is this like a hipster type no. place? No, hell no. It's real authentic. Yeah. So they're not gonna have shit vegan for me. Yeah, they do. No, I don't care. It's the life of a vegan, dude. Sacrifices that you make, you know? Yeah. The sacrifices you make to make sure that those animals don't feel any harm except no. that on Saturday, <laughs> on Saturday you went to the zoo. Comment down below if you know any vegans that go to the zoo. I don't personally. Well, I guess I do now. I'm gonna stop eating meat this week. Let's go see some animals in captivity. <laughs> My true first vegan test. I'm not kidding, because I've I know, that's what I was saying. You've just been fucking, like, exiling yourself from reality, and you're yeah, just like... Oh. I can insult anyone at any time. It's true. Anytime you're speaking. <laughs> anytime you speak, you can insult someone. So just shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's like a new political poster. Like the future, the future American, no one speaks. Like come back from the past. Why is no one speaking? Everyone got so offended that everyone just decided to shut the fuck up one day. Like, just collectively. Collectively, we all just shh. And you oh. paper. Damn. Oh, it's interesting, that whole culture, too. Like, you take a car. <laughs> Uncle Ern. Uncle Ern's in the house. You know, it always sounds like some Thanksgiving conversation. Like you sit down, and you know, Teddy. I was uh, you passed the cranberry sauce. Uh, I was watching ESPN the other day, and they had this gentleman, Chad Muska, on there, skateboarder Tony Hawk. Have you heard of these guys? It's amazing what they're doing with the skateboard stuff now. I mean, it's like a real sport. Same thing with like tattooing. Oh man, I'll tell you what they're doing with tattoos these days. <laughs> you still, you still do that drawing stuff? It's amazing. Isn't it amazing that the best part of uncles and everyone that does it is like the whole time they've thought what you do is ridiculous and then like they see it on TV and they're like, oh, there's a TV yeah. show on tattooing now. I don't deal with that type of shit. I'm Me just saying that's, just, that's, what you, that's the vibe you're fucking throwing out. What vibe? That's you, the uncle vibe. I'm not the uncle. Your uncle Ernie. <laughs> I'm not being mean either. That's not mean. <laughs> he is actually an uncle. I am an uncle. See? <laughs> Good. Good. My friend, yeah. No, I don't mind it. I Do you just, have anything that's vegan on the menu? Any, uh, we have the, our red chili. Okay. Either the burrito or the combination. Okay. Which is the rice and the red enchilada. I'm just saying the bet is off. Okay. No, because I'm back in the office. It's, it's too easy. I don't want to take your money. I see. But I know if I gave up, you keep telling me you're not going to take mine. So I'm not trying to take yours. Mm. The friendship route. Well, yeah. The friendly bet route. <laughs> Just in case. G Life. You're out here. <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Oh, and uh, could we get guacamole and more chips? Yes. Thank you. Looking good, bud. And some beans. That vegan lifestyle. Beans? I got a guac tostada. Guac. Guac tada. Yeah, guac tada. There will be a day. See everybody in this room, when you have their shit open, you'll be able to click on them in the air, zoom in, and see what they did for as long as you want. At one point, it'll be from birth. You'll be able to watch their entire life from birth. Highlights. It's deep. Yeah, we're already there. Instagram is the data. Omar. This right here should be that part, the drum. Which is why we couldn't ship it, because I could not find this right here. DGI official. Needed that. Nice. Eight dollar part. Nice. Thank you, good boy. Thank you. All right. This is what you think is our vape pen. Yep. 
which is probably Well, it's Lynx Vapor. Oh, nice. Lynx Bubbler, I wonder if that's something different. Hello, Teddy. Okay, cool. So we'll give a review of this soon. These people sent me this and paid me to review this, but I want to actually like, you know, use it. Shout out to Lynx Vapor. This I know what it is because of the yellow tape. If you see yellow tape like that, that is something from my Adidas. Oh, the yeah, Adidas. Yeah. That means for the boost guy. Oh, Special shit. delivery. It fits into this box almost perfectly. No waste in space here. We have a black on black Adidas box. We have no labeling on this side. No labeling on this side. None on this side. And none on this side. We have a completely mysterious black box. We don't know what it is. So this probably is Eno Ultra Boost. We have, ooh, it smells like glue. We have paper. Look at that wrapping job. We have a triple oh. black, triple black Zeno oh. with the extra black laces. Shout out to Ari for this. But people will call this, people will say, People will say, this is just another, hey Adidas, it's just another black shoe. And to those people I say, the new pigeon is just a black shoe. Just got a little orange bottom, so, there you go. Oh, they are cool the, when the mm -hmm. light hits them too. It's hard to tell, yeah, there yeah, you go. Yeah, hit it with the flash. So, this came in early. I definitely want a pair of those. Yeah, the online drop hasn't happened yet. Oh shit, this actually might be, dude, that means I have another package coming today. AI one, yeah. So the other one. The other one is that other NMD that just dropped. Oh, look at you. He's a good boy. Alright. And off he goes. Oh, that's a totally different color than the. But it ain't. Great bottom. Nice. Oh, let me see the bottom. That's hot. Dude. Uh, completes that collection. We have the other. We haven't. Is there any other gray bottom NMD? I don't think of. I mean, there probably is like a mesh one or whatever. Yo. What? So we could get. It depends, dude. I mean, compact cars are like fucking forty a day for a toy. We're not getting a compact. Okay, so the. The SUVs, you can get like a fucking sh suburban. Yeah, that's what we want. Well, okay, also there's the Nissan. We'll just go big. Yeah, I keep a bid on StockX. A couple of months ago when I didn't have, or when I was wearing my nice kicks a lot and they're starting to get beat, I put a $1,000 bid on StockX in it. Every month I just, re I guess, redo it. I don't know, whenever yeah. it deletes. And today I just got an email that said bid accepted. So I just fucking randomly spent $1,000 today. Nice. Yeah. Kicks. Yeah. Yeah, at least the address is right on that. So I got the address fixed for Kith too. Well, we have to go pick it up Friday morning. Just rented a Chevy Suburban. Driver Earn is ready for his first professional excursion in the uh, Suburban. As a vegan. As a vegan. You won't be vegan by then. You almost collapsed at lunch today. I saw it in your face. I saw, I saw the decisions. You're like, what, what? What can I get? And she didn't. That shit probably wasn't vegan anyway. I don't know. Consciously, it was vegan. Consciously. I'm a con if I think it's vegan, then it's vegan. Yep. Well, we'll just think some steak is vegan next week. So, eventful day today. Uh, got some shoes in the mail. Got another pair of shoes that should be here this afternoon. I'm still waiting on it, even though it's already almost four o'clock. Um, but yeah, real quick, I was gonna talk before we talk about a pair of shoes. It is re-releasing, or I guess it already re-released. I don't know if it, it must have two different releases. They did like an original pop-up release for it on Orchard Street where the original Reed Space was, Jeff Staple, you know, the whole shindig. So uh, the original Pigeon Dunk, when it dropped, this is the anniversary of it. The original Pigeon Dunk was crazy. Uh, I don't know if I agree with it as, as crazy as some people remember it being, but it was crazy. And those of you that don't know, I used to be a huge Nike SB guy. Pretty much anything pink box and before, I didn't really like, I didn't really rock with it too much after the pink boxes, but uh, I was pretty uh, pretty heavy into uh, Nike SB way back in the day. So I do remember the Pigeon Dunk. I was not in New York for it. I was in North Carolina, but I definitely remember it going down. Definitely remember how uh, nuts it was to try to get your hands on a pair of them. So probably the first real Nike SB that I remember with crazy, crazy resale. I can't really remember anything before that being nuts, but I also kind of had a SB plug back in the day, so it, it just worked out for me. But um, yeah, so they're re-releasing a 
all black version. I have to I have to address the fact that my friends who are always constantly, we're always going back and forth, you know, a healthy little bait over Adidas versus Nike. I know some of y'all don't understand that you can, we can di have differences and still be cool, but we can. The one thing about it that I hear all the time is, oh, Adidas with another black shoe. This pigeon is basically just a plain black shoe. So let's not, let's not kid ourselves. So it's a plain black shoe. It is through the whole pigeon thing onto it. And for those of you that don't know, the Jeff Staple Pigeon is not the first pigeon also. There was a purple pigeon. That was like the first SB, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong about that, but pretty sure the purple pigeon was first. But yeah, there's a purple pigeon, and then there's the Jeff Staple Pigeon, and then that was the crazy one, the gray one. I, I, I just called a new release because at least they did keep the integrity of the original shoe for the people who paid crazy money for that shoe and for people who, you know, it's really their grail. At least this is another version, and it just kind of pays homage to the first, which I kind of like. I like that whole idea. But I don't think that the Nike SB Pigeon, one, I think SB is done. I think they ruined it. And they ruined it by scaling it so huge. And two, I think that the Pigeon is just, it's like, it is a moment in time and it's a really cool moment in time, but it's just, it's already passed. And it feels to me like Nike is doing what it always does, which is breathing life into something that's already, already, already happened, you know? And it's just like, that's what they do. It's like, oh, you guys love this? Let's re-release this. You know, da, 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 da. And I don't hate it. I absolutely love Jeff Staple. I, I, I like one of my favorite, I've met him a few times. Uh, he probably doesn't remember, but a couple of times met Jeff Staple and I have nothing but respect for the man. Absolutely love that era of SB. Love that whole energy of New York from that time. I absolutely love it. Fuck with it 100%. Pretty much where I spent most of my youth was in New York hanging out. I fuck with Jeff staple and I fuck with uh, the SB era but I just don't really see the I just don't really understand you know I don't really get the point of it kind of my beef with Nike in general is that they're always taking something that is special has a special moment in time and then it just feels like to me exploiting it again to just breathe life back into something or a moment in time that's already passed so that's my whole thing with it I don't, I'm not mad about it or anything I don't people I think sometimes think I'm mad I just my thought on it like that was a moment. Same thing with Ultra Boost. Like, this is a moment, and if this moment passes, you know, if they're like, hey, we're not gonna make Ultra Boost anymore, or, you know, even just a pair, like, whatever. Uh, the Nice Kicks NMD, if they were like, hey, we're gonna re release the Nice Kicks NMD, um, even in like a blue color, I would be super bummed. You know what I mean? Like, I would be bummed out about it. So that's, it's, it's consistent with me. I just don't really get it that's it you know what i mean but uh yeah shout out to jeff staple and shout out to you dudes who are still fucking with sb i just feel like in 2017 sb uh it's just i don't know like i might sound just like an old guy like an old this is like a part of me that's like an old man i just feel like that shit is done like i just feel like i don't know it was a different time for nike and skateboarding and just shoes in general i don't know i don't know how to explain it but yeah so congrats to everybody if you know whatever but it's still a black shoe with an orange sole and that's my real point it's just the pigeon. The pigeon has history. I get it. But I just think that that history should just, like, we all know the story. You know what I mean? Putting out another shoe doesn't help the history of that story. It just lost me a long time ago. And that's really all I really like to say about it. So I hope that wasn't too negative. Shoes out here. I have this whole thing set up with lights. So I'm going to take it out of the shoe room for once. But um, this black box showed up with no labeling. None. Nothing. And inside the contents of that package were the Zeno Ultra Bro, no. Zeno Ultra Boosts that look like this. Omar, get out of here. Uh, Zeno Ultra Boost, so here you are again. And the reason I talked about the SB was for this nice little segue. It's an all black shoe. So all black shoe, you can customize these. So this is the My Adidas Zeno Ultra Boost customization. There's a few different ways that you can do it. Um, I honestly can't even remember what other, I know that you can make the boost white or black and that change, if you do white boost, you have to change the color of the K. It's, there's a bunch of different options. But with all the different options we have, I went with basically the all black because I really just like the way that the Xeno looks and the cage and the heel cup. So you have your regular 3.0 Ultra Boost. One big major difference of this one is that it is a solid black, like true triple black upper. We don't get that a lot from Adidas, especially in a 3.0. I think the only other pair is the colors. Correct me if I'm wrong and I just can't think right now, but I'm pretty sure the color collab is the only true black black upper on a 3.0. Um, and then black laces, I got another set of black laces with it. And then the Xeno hits are on the tongue tab, 
the cage and the heel cup. Still have the Ultra Boost branding sort of embossed, embossed there. Um, and then so Xeno, which is inspired by Xenopeltis, which is a type of snake that has reflective patterning on it. This is something that Adidas has done before. They've introduced it, I think it's like in 2015-ish, and they did a Z-Flux and a Superstar maybe. I don't know, I just remember the ZX Flux or whatever it's called, but you've seen it before. Like it's this iridescent, reflective, but also colorful material that looks super sick. And in the daylight, it just kind of has this grayish or purple type tone to it but when any kind of light hits it you get a full rainbow spectrum colorfulness that bestows upon your footwear yeah super sick i'm really glad to get these shout out to ari kagan for hooking it up he got these for me at the new york city release i was not able to make it stock x day for those of you asking about the stock x giveaway giveaway will happen very soon I'm just waiting on stock x to get me the code to give away and to pick a winner also, the Jordan 3 giveaway will happen soon. Uh, I just really need to figure out how to give them away. Hey, yeah, I, I think that's the only giveaways going on right now. Gave away World War II on Twitch the other night. Have an Ultra Boost giveaway on Twitch soon. But I think that's it. And um, yeah, but the real release for these has not happened yet as far as I know or global release there should be an online drop they did a um they did like a they did an email they did a mailer where you could sign up you know pre-sign up to order the shoe whatever customize it but they, as far as i know that hasn't happened yet so anytime now i would expect to see the uh online you know drop where codes will probably be all over the place i don't know how limited this will be didn't seem as limited as past my adidas releases have or at least the first one even the last one seemed kind of big but this doesn't seem like it's going to be small uh in that sense so i think you probably will be able to get a pair you know easier than maybe you think so but yeah that is the xeno ultra boost my adidas super happy to get them actually a size 13 as well which is the first time my adidas has done that so shout out to adidas for the 13 love and not 12 and a half appreciate it yeah there it is that's the day, sir and ma'am. Tomorrow is the, so all the AI stuff should be shipped. The last of it should be going out first thing in the morning, I do believe. Most everything has been shipped. They've been busting their ass to get everything done. We also have to get prepared for Vegas and all of this and Memphis that's coming up. So it's just, we're really super busy. Appreciate everybody's patient and support. Everybody's patient. Everybody's patience and support. Appreciate that. We do have 002, the second drop of AI happening tomorrow night at 8 p.m. Mountain Time, the Future Is Now hoodie, blue violin player, and a circle barcode in many different fashions. There's also a crew neck uh, embroidered, embroidered jams on it. Um, but yeah, a bunch of stuff all coming tomorrow night, 8 p.m. See you there, see you then, see you before that, see you around. I'm better than I'm a stomp, have a tasting. This is gonna be a fucking steak tasting vlog. 
I might drop out of this. Just drop out. Let's go. Hold on. Eat this. Hold on. Let's go. I miss my friend. <laughs> I miss my friend. I just want to eat with my friend. Are we going here? What are we doing? Yeah, we're going.